It's a great day for keto. My name is Liftar, and I'm bringing you today's keto tip. Welcome. Today's keto bite, two more challenges for women on keto. Today is part two of the three major challenges women face doing keto. Men have challenges also, but women have a couple that happen a lot more to them than they happen to men, and it has to do with body type and hormones. Yesterday was about weight loss stalls. Men and women both get them, but they are more frequently a problem with women. Today we'll talk about two other things women face. Number one, hormone imbalances. Hormones rule. No, I mean they they really literally rule. They rule how you think, how you see the world. You could think you feel a certain way, then your hormones change and you can feel the opposite in a minute. If you've ever been in love, you know how that flush of hormones just takes over everything. It changes how you see the entire world. Keto is an endocrine-based diet. It means we rely on hormones to make it work. So if there's a hormonal imbalance in the body, keto will probably make it more noticeable. There's a couple of things you can do to mitigate this, to take care of this problem. First thing is adjust your thinking about your body. Aim for a happy body weight. A lot of people get in the trap of looking at other people and I'm not that skinny and I don't look like that runway model. Forget all that, especially toward the beginning. There's a big difference between a happy weight and an ideal weight. And the ideal weight for you may be something your doctor told you that's fine, but I'm talking about the ideal weight where you just make it up in your mind. I should look like Twiggy the model. You don't have a man's body. Women's bodies are healthiest around 22 to 29% body fat. Because of hormones, you have to have body fat. Going lower than that can cause or intensify existing hormonal problems. I once was talking to a woman who is a world-class runner, and she said, oh, my menstrual cycles just stop. Well, no kidding, you've got a 3% body fat, and your body can't do the things it's supposed to do as a woman. Am I saying don't become a world-class runner? No, just understand that if you go below that body fat level, you're going to have other things are going to start happening. If you want to just be a normal average person, you have to have some body fat. So we want to get to a healthy body weight with a healthy amount of body fat, not super skinny, no body fat. Challenge number two, emotional eating. This can be a really big one if you let it. Women tend to feel their emotions more powerfully than men do. Not always. Again, this is nothing is ever applies to everybody. We're just talking about in general. It's not that it's a better or worse thing. It's nature's design. Women have a certain slot in nature where they have to accomplish certain things like having babies, which men cannot do. So the hormones are different and the way they see things and feel things is different. When hormones are high in the body or out of balance, you can feel very strong emotions. This can lead the way to comfort eating or eating for other reasons. So let's just accept you're occasionally going to eat for comfort. So instead of just trying to deny it, which is like trying to keep a beach ball underwater, it's going to pop up eventually. There is something you can do about it, and that is to have this whole world of keto-friendly results available. There's ice cream, snacks, even cheesecake. You can look up the recipes. So first, make some keto-friendly ice cream or other snack. Have it handy. Now, on the other side of that, you can't just eat all keto-friendly dessert and think you're going to be on keto. Everything has to be in moderation. But if you're going to freak out, have something keto-friendly to freak out on. And then you won't be completely knocking yourself out of your keto journey when you have to have some kind of episode. And second, look at your emotional issues. 
try to identify what's causing the emotion and then work on it with compassion, not blame. And that goes for if other people are causing you a problem or you're just causing your own problem. That one change in how you treat yourself can make a world of difference. So if you figure out what's bothering you or making you do it, work on it with love and compassion, not blame. Try to turn it around and make it a cause for you to get healthier, to eat better, to lose the weight, to change yourself. Take the challenge, turn it into something that makes you go forward, not backward. And that's today's Keto Bite. If you enjoy these bite-sized tips, then come on over to rockthatketo.com and sign up for fabulous recipes, how-to tips, and inspirational stories of people who have lost weight or gotten healthy for the first time in their life. If you're ready to dive in and start losing serious weight, we have a foolproof 30-day plan all laid out for you. You can start losing weight today. Come on and check us out at rockthatketo.com, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.